Good day. This is Tata Franco Segua doing another video. Uh, today's video is going to be on the uses of the candles in this religion. First and foremost, I just want to say that I do not claim to have the absolute truth. Now, I'm doing this video because besides here and there, I get inquiries about this. But I've also noticed that people forget to even acknowledge how important the uses of candles. Not only in Palama Yerbe, but straight across any of these African based religions, it's extremely important. Now, there's tons of variations when it comes with the colors and the uses of the candles. I might tell you I use this specific combination for this purpose and the next thought that will say well no I use that combination for this purpose you know at the end of the day it comes down to the mania or the workings of the particular person but it's extremely important and I'm just gonna mention some uh, color some even have combinations of colors that's what we call a dual candle some some come three colors so so let's start with the first one um light blue this is used to bring peace and tranquility and bring stress relief so if you're under a lot of stress and you're on edge for whatever case may be this is the color that you should use in order to to bring you that peace and tranquility and that stress relief that you, you need in your life now white and pink now now mind you chances are you're gonna have to go to like a botanica that specializes in candles of these nature because like if you go to a supermarket or a bodega it's going to be kind of hard to get these types of candles. But if you go to a botanica, even online, um, you, you'll be able to find them. They have tons and tons of combinations. So now, the white with pink, this protects <clears throat> the harmony and love in the relationship. So those of you that are trying to get that in your life, I recommend get a white with pink candle and that is used to bring that that love and harmony in that relationship now green with blue that could be used for prosperity like I said people different religious people they have their own twists and these colors but like I said at the end of the day it's up to the person now orange with green this is for if you need very quick good luck this is what you use that for now yellow with black this is to remove obstacles and bad luck from your path so that's it's a very good one probably most of us need that now red with brown that's to help you out with legal issues and of course, there's combinations of different types of blue for this. It's just another example. Now, gray is specifically, at least in my case, I like to use this color to neutralize, neutralize a specific situation that I might be working for, for a client or whatever. That's a must in those workings. So gray is to neutralize a certain situation now white with orange that's to bring blessings and harmony into your home so if that's what you feel that's lacking in your home that you need more blessings and harmony in your home that's what you get now white with brown this is used for protection of your children now lavender this like i said the next person might have a different color a different combination for this but lavender could be used 
to help you with spiritual development. Now, that's just, I mean, there's a ton of different combinations. I'm just going to mention these. It's just to bring out the fact that a lot of people overlook the importance of the uses of the candles in all these African-based religions. Now, mind you, to get the full, full effect of when you work with candles, there are certain impolos that can be added onto oils and then you can dress the candle. Uh, even these impolos can be put inside the wax of that candle. You do your prayer, you light it up. Um, but then again, that's at a much higher level. Like somebody like myself or the next that's consecrated that knows these workings. I'm just throwing that out there. That's why um, people say, but I tried this combination. It hasn't really helped. Then I suggest you go to a Tata or Yaya um, and try to get them to sell you some in Polo just strictly for that purpose. You, you, you know, see if it they'll do it for you. Well, at the end of the day, just, <clears throat> um, they can give you a price for them to, uh, work that candle for you. <clears throat> now, remember, a candle can save you, or it can kill you. I mean, you gotta remember, you have to respect the fact that there's an entity that resides in the flame of the candle, which I'm not even gonna try and mention, um, but there is an entity there, and, uh, most of the Tatas and Yayas knows the name of this entity. My godchildren know the name of this entity. But I'm not trying to throw this name out there and then have uh, these crazy people just trying to invoke this entity. But just remember, there's an entity that lives in the flame of the candle that you must respect. At the end of the day, that is how you work the magic with any candle. Whether the candle is done for good or for evil. Like I just said, the candle can save you or it can kill you. So at the end of the day, there's an entity involved with that. So I just figured I'll make this quick video because this is this type of working is being overlooked. They're actually <clears throat> um, giving reverence that it's used more towards the Piritimo, but that's, that is not so. These, these candle works are all across these African-based religions. I don't care which religion, as long as it's African-based that we're talking about, there's workings with candles. Alright, so stay humble and be kind to one another. Until next time, may Sambi bless you and yours. Salam Alaikum.